Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. My nephew Valdez just celebrated his 25th birthday. I still remember when he was a baby, he was so cute and adorable. Now he's all grown up and ready to set out on his own new adventures. Valdez loves to cook too, and he wanted me to show him how to do this recipe. So here it is, Val. Take lots of notes. Today we're going to make mango key lime pie, actually the mini version, individual portions. Then we'll be adventurous and try something I've never done before as a bonus recipe. We're so lucky to have a key lime tree right in our backyard. Looks like we're going to have a nice crop again this year. Our key lime tree is a very interesting tree because it's actually grafted and it bears two types of fruit, key limes as well as sour oranges. I use the sour oranges a lot when I'm making my marinade for roast pork. It's like a moho and it's really delicious. Here's one of our garden gems, fresh mint. Great for making desserts, drinks, and your savory recipes. I'll be using fresh mint from our garden to garnish our key lime pies. Here's some key limes from our key lime tree in our backyard. We had a really good crop last year, so I ended up freezing some of them. Here's a tip for freezing your key limes. I always let my key limes ripe before I freeze them. When they turn a yellow color, I know that they're ready to go. I put them in a single layer on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, freeze them for a couple days before storing in locked Ziplocs. Here are my key limes that are all thawed out and ready to be squeezed. I find the easiest way to do this is just to put a strainer over a measuring cup and then place my key limes in one of these squeezy gadgets and then just um, squeeze the juice out of it. I have to tell you that this is truly amazing. It's actually an experiment I did freezing these key limes and they've been in the freezer since October last year. Now several months later I'm going to be using them to make a mango key lime pie and I have to tell you that they're just as juicy and um, really produce a lot of juice, the same as when they were fresh. It's amazing. There are many different types of mangoes. These particular ones are called champagne or sugar mangoes and are excellent for making mango key lime pies because of their great texture and great flavor. I'm going to be peeling and slicing the mangoes for our mango key lime pie. Using a sharp knife, peel the mangoes and try not to remove too much of the flesh. Once you're done peeling your mango, then slice off the fleshy portions on either side of the seed. And this is what you're going to have. And you're going to slice this for your mango key lime pie. Then slice the mango lengthways as this will make it easier to layer in your pie. I'll be slicing two to three mangoes and I think that should give us enough for our pie. For the mango key lime pie, it's best to use ripe sweet mangoes that are firm and don't have a stringy texture. Our main ingredients for our key lime pie mixture are four large to jumbo egg yolks, half a cup of key lime juice, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Today we're going to be making six individual servings of mini mango key lime pies. I placed my graham cracker crust on a baking sheet and then layered the bottom of the crust with the mango slices. 
Here's an easy way to separate your egg yolks from your egg whites. Crack the egg at the edge of the bowl, break the shell into two pieces, and then gently transfer your egg yolk until all the white has been removed. And there you have it. Cover and refrigerate your egg whites and you can use it for an egg white omelet or for another recipe. Place your egg yolks in a stainless steel bowl. With a wire whisk, gently break up the yolks. Here are the yolks after whisking for just a few seconds. The next step is to pour in your key lime juice into the egg yolks. One thing you want to be careful of is not over mixing. You just want to incorporate the key lime juice into the egg yolks. Then pour in your sweetened condensed milk into your egg and key lime juice mixture. Using the whisk, gently fold in the sweetened condensed milk into the mixture. Just be careful not to over whisk or over mix your mixture because that's going to change the consistency. Here's your key lime pie mixture once the condensed milk is folded in. Spoon the key lime pie mixture into the crust using a small ladle. For this size ladle, I'm using like two ladles for each crust. Bake on the center rack of your oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After baking for 15 minutes, remove from the oven and place on a rack to cool completely. When the pies are completely cool, refrigerate for several hours or overnight if possible before serving. I love experimenting with new ideas, so since I had some leftover mixture from my mango key lime pie, I decided to try this little experiment. I sprayed a shallow ramekin with cooking spray and then layered the sliced mango on the bottom. Then I spooned the key lime mixture all over the mango slices. Now the mango slices are completely covered with the leftover key lime pie mixture. I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for around 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mint leaves are extremely delicate and bruise easily, so instead of washing under running water, I just wipe them off with a damp paper towel. I garnish the mini mango key lime pies with some mint leaves and little slivers of mango. And now, we're ready for our tasting. Remember that experiment we were trying with the leftover key lime pie mixture? Well, here it is after refrigerating overnight. I think I'd like to try our experimental recipe first. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm going in for the taste second time around. It's got the consistency of a pudding, but it actually tastes just like the mango key lime pie, but without the crust. Very nice. It's time for some mango key lime pie. So now we taste. I really like that little bit of crunchiness with the graham cracker crust and then there's that nice balance between the tartness of the key limes and then the sweetness of the mango. It's really delicious. 
Mango Key Lime Pie. You can make it an elegant dessert with a blend of delicious tropical flavors. Bon voyage, Val, and happy trails on your new adventure. Thank you for spending your time with me, for sharing great tips, great stories, and having a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories.